Welcome to The Journey. In these days of lockdown, we are all on a journey, a journey of solidarity. And the journey will offer reflections and ideas and practical ways that we can live in this time of lockdown. Today I want to share a method of prayer you can use alone or with your family. During these days of lockdown, it is important that we come together as families to pray. Perhaps we don't get this opportunity very often. We can pray as a family with the scriptures. We can pray the rosary or even in this time of Lent, we can pray the Stations of the Cross together. But I want to teach you today another kind of prayer, a particular way of praying called praying our day. In this prayer, we look at how God has been active in our lives in the day that has passed. Choose a time that suits you and your family, after supper or before bedtime. 15 minutes is normally a good average time, but if the children are joining you, make it shorter because we must always be flexible. It could be 5 or 10 minutes. Choose a place, light a candle or whatever is symbolic to you and place it in that place. Begin by asking God to bless your family. Ask God to help you see your day and your family through God's eyes. Invite everyone to look back over the day and remember a moment which they are grateful for. Allow each person a little time to think about this. Then invite everyone to share that moment of gratitude. Ask the children, perhaps, what was their best part of the day. Go around the circle and listen attentively to each other. Once everyone has shared, you could perhaps pray a short prayer of thanksgiving to God for the day that was, for the blessings that God gave you this day. Then once you've done that, take a moment to think about the thing that you are least grateful for in the day. It could have been a moment when you were grumpy or when there was some conflict with somebody else or maybe you felt frustrated or you lost your temper. Think about that. Bring that to God and if you want you can also share that as a family. Now remember to listen to each other. We do not respond to what others are saying, we simply listen. And then pray together, asking God and one another for forgiveness. Finally, invite each one to think about what it is they want for tomorrow, the grace that they need. It could be patience, or a sense of humor, or more hope, or more peace. Remember to give everyone a few moments in silence to think about this. Again, you can share this with one another when you are done. Then you can pray together in these or similar words. Lord, we ask you for the gifts that we need for tomorrow. Grant them to us so that we can be joyful and loving to each other. Bring the time of prayer to an end. You might want to, as a family, pray a few intercessions. Maybe there are people and situations you want to pray for. After each prayer, the person simply says, Lord, hear us. And everyone else says, Lord, graciously hear us. And then to end this time of prayer together as a family, you could say one of your favorite prayers, the Our Father, for example. Or maybe ask one of the children to pray and alternate that the next night. And we simply pray, thanking God, for the many gifts that he's given us. And so let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you for the gifts you give us. And we pray that you help us see ourselves and one another, especially those we love most, through your eyes. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.